Hey everyone, it's Nate Savage here, and I recently put out a video called Three Steps to Playing Bar Chords. And in that lesson, we just went over some of the fundamentals of making bar chords, building your bar strength, and getting them to sound clean. Now, if you can't quite make this E major bar chord shape yet, I'd really encourage you to watch that video and apply the tips in there to your daily practice for a few weeks until you can make that chord. Now, if you can make this chord already, this lesson is gonna be really great for you because we're gonna go through seven killer bar chord drills to get your bar chords up to the level to where you can use them in songs. These drills are pretty progressive, and all I mean by that is they start off pretty easy and they get harder and harder as you go along. So if you're newer to bar chords, I'd recommend maybe going through one through three to start out with. And if you've been playing bar chords for a long time and you're more comfortable with them, maybe try four through seven. They're a little bit more difficult. Grab your guitar and follow along. Drill number one is just going to make sure that you have down whatever bar chord shape you're working on very well before you know getting in to the later, more difficult drills. And the idea behind this one is to take whatever bar chord you're working on, it can be the E major shape, E minor shape, A major shape, A minor shape, any one that you're currently working on, and just put it on and take it off over and over again. So get it on there, make sure it sounds good, take it off, put it right back on. And this is great not only for making sure that you know, you're remembering all of your technique tips that it sounds clean and that your hand is staying strong enough to play these bar chords, but it's also a great warm up exercise too. So this is something you might wanna do before doing any, you know, playing along to a song or any more involved playing. And again, it can be any of those shapes. So if you're struggling with your A shape, try that just on and off over and over again. It doesn't have to be long, you know, three to five minutes is plenty for this. And this is gonna keep your hand in shape, make sure you have those chords down very cleanly, and it's gonna warm you up, like I said. Drill number two is still kind of a warm up, but it's gonna be working on another important aspect of playing bar chords, and that's moving them up and down the fretboard. So, same idea, take any bar chord shape that you're currently working on, E minor, A minor, E major, A major, doesn't matter. And what you're gonna do is just move it up and down the fretboard. So you're gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna help you work on your strength and endurance. It's gonna make sure that you have your technique down and that you have your bar chords clean. And you know, as you move up the fretboard, you have to kind of adjust and kind of scrunch your fingers up a little bit more and make sure that it still sounds good because there's less space in between the frets. The frets are closer together up there. And this is especially true with the A shape. When I'm on the, I don't know, frets one through seven, Usually I use this fingering for my A shape, the bar chord. Once I get a little higher up, it starts getting a little harder to fit my fingers in between the frets, so I'll switch over to this bar shape, right? And this is a great exercise to kind of transition between those two shapes for your A major bar chord shape, while building strength and dexterity and making sure that your bar chords are always clean. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of time on this. Three to five minutes a day is perfectly fine. And you don't have to hit all seven of these drills in one day. Just pick you know, two or three that are applicable to your skill level and work on those. Drill number three gets a little bit more specific with the shapes we'll be using. And the idea behind this one is to start off with a major bar chord shape, in this case, an E major bar chord shape. I'm gonna be using a G chord because my index finger is on the third fret my lowest root right there on the sixth string. Third fret is a G, so that's a G major, right? Make sure it's clean, and then switch to a minor chord, a G minor. And all you have to do if you don't know the shape is take your second finger off of that G string. And I like to have my index finger kind of come back and help out with bar duties here. Just gives my index finger a little bit of a break and ensures that that's gonna be a really clean sound. But just switching from major to minor to build that coordination and you're still working on building strength and endurance here at the same time. Also, you're gonna to wanna to work on switching between your A major bar chord shape and A minor. So you're working on coordination of that switch and you're having to hold this bar down the entire time. Now, I'm still staying on the third fret here. I'm using an A shape. And the lowest root note for this bar chord shape is on the fifth string. So whatever note you're playing on the fifth string with that bar, is gonna give that bar chord its name. So this is a C note. This means I'm playing a C major bar chord with the A shape. Then I'm switching to the A minor shape. That gives me a C minor using the A minor shape. 
So, going from this over and over to that minor shape. And if you don't know the shape, that's okay. This is a great time to learn it and add it to your library of bar chord shapes. But just go back and forth between the E major, E minor, several times if you want. And then you can do the A major to A minor. And that one's a little more challenging. Drill number four is gonna help you develop probably the most common bar chord change under the planet, and that's a one to a four chord change using the E shape for your one chord and the A shape for your four chord. Let me show you what I mean. Let's get our G major bar chord set back up here on the third fret with our bar, and then the E shape will come down. G major chord, right? If we were in the key of G major, that would be our one chord. Now, the four chord in the key of G major would be a C major chord, and the fastest way to get to a C major chord using a bar chord shape is to just leave our bar in place and switch to the A shape. That's one of the most common changes you're gonna see with bar chords, so it's really important to get that down cleanly and where you can do it quickly as well because you have to be able to keep up with faster tempo songs, right? So that's a really important change to just woodshed and just work on that until you're really comfortable with it. And depending on your personal preference or the tempo of the song, you may want to use this version of the A-shaped bar chord for your C with all three fingers there. Or if it's a faster tempo song, you may want to use this kind of secondary bar with your third finger. You have to collapse it and make sure that you don't mute that high E string. But it's a lot faster change than this. But it's important to be able to do both. So practice that until you get that change down and you're gonna notice that it doesn't have to be a lot of time. It's more important that you're consistent with your practice. Three to five minutes a day working on that change will help you a lot if you're consistent with it. Drill number five takes number four to the next level and works on a one, four, five progression. So all we're doing is adding one chord. And you can do this in any key, but drill number four was a G to a C. To add a five to that progression in the key of G, all you have to do is slide that A shape up two frets and play a D bar chord using the A shape. That's another really common chord progression that you're gonna wanna get down very well. And again, the only difference between this and drill number four is the fact that we have to slide up to that D. So that might be a new skill you have to develop, taking that a-shaped bar chord, letting off the pressure a little, sliding up, and hitting that D cleanly. And again, you can use this shape with the bar, or you can use you know, all three fingers there to make that A-shape. Just do that over and over again to get used to it, because you're gonna be using that change a lot when you play bar chords. Drill number six is kind of the inverse of drill number five. We're still gonna be using a one, four, five progression in the key of G major for our example, but we're gonna be playing the one chord or the G chord with an A shape and the four and the five chords, the C and the D, with an E shape. The first step here is gonna to be to find a G note on the A string, because that's gonna be where we're gonna put our bar. And there's one right here on the 10th fret. So we put our bar there and then put the rest of our A shape in place. That gives us our G bar chord using that A shape. Now you can use this shape or you can use the little A bar shape too. Either one you want. It's probably a little bit easier because we're so high up the fretboard in this particular key to use this shape. But that's gonna be your one chord. A G major chord using the A major bar chord shape. Now we're gonna use the E major bar chord shape to play our four and our five, the C major and the D major. So we need to find a C note on the low E string and that's here on the eighth fret and put our bar there. Then let the rest of our E shape fall into place. That'll be our C major chord using the E shape because this note right there on the eighth fret of the low E string is a C. Now same idea, all you have to do to get to a D is slide that shape up two frets. There's a D note right there on the 10th fret, the low E string. And that leads us right back to the 10th fret where we started with our G major bar chord using the A shape. So that is your basic progression. One, four, five. This can be challenging on acoustic when you're higher up the fretboard, but you don't have to do it in this key. 
cool thing about bar chords is they're movable. You can do it in any key that you want, any location relative to where you start. So one, four, five. Playing a D major bar chord using the A shape. So I'm in the key of D, playing a one, four, five. And I didn't have to think about anything differently but my starting point, which is really cool. That's just a good exercise to do and get down for sliding your shapes around, getting familiar with your one, four, and your five with bar chords using the A and E shapes. The A shape being where you would start on your root. Drill number seven is kind of a nonsensical pattern that I came up with that's just really good at working on your endurance and your strength and the clarity of your bar chords. Let me show this one to you. The idea is to start with your E shape, it doesn't matter where. Then keep your bar where it is and switch to your A shape. Move up one fret, leave that A shape there, and switch to your E shape. Move up one fret, leave that E there, switch to your A. Move up one fret with your A, switch to your E. And at some point, move up, at some point you're gonna wanna switch to this version of the A because it's gonna get too tight to play up higher. But you can do that as much as you want, whichever shapes you want. This is just a great exercise for building strength, endurance, and dexterity with your bar chords. And you don't have to do this for very long to really feel the burn and feel that you're making progress as far as being able to move your bar chords around and having the strength necessary to make them clean. The whole point of all seven of these drills is to get your bar chords to the level where you can use them in music. And it can be you know, cover tunes, it can be your own original songs, but if you haven't sat down and made a list of songs that you wanna be able to play that use bar chords, I'd really encourage you to do that. Now, if you don't know what songs to kind of tackle, let me give you some recommendations. Um, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay is a really great one. Uh, have you ever seen The Rain by CCR, or any CCR song for that matter is great. Any Johnny Cash song, is really good. I Want to Get Away by Lenny Kravitz is also another good one. So that's it for this video. If you found this lesson helpful, you should check out the free guitar toolbox. It's my collection of over 50 step-by-step -step lessons that address a lot of really common problem areas for guitar players. And it helps you overcome those areas through fun jam tracks and practical musical applications. You can find out more about that at guitarlessons.com toolbox.